In the revelation presented to the Apostle John, Jesus pointed ahead many centuries to the time when Jehovah brings an end to those who oppose his kingdom. At Revelation 11 and verse 18, it speaks of such opposers as those ruining the earth. The town board of Ramapo approved the zoning for the facility and gave approval for tree removal. Psalm 115 and verse 16 states that the earth he has given to the sons of men. So then, what about the people? We give it back to you, the people. Does Jehovah's disgust at the ruining of the earth apply to the ruining of mankind as well? Yes. What are we talking about here? We can see this in what is stated at Genesis chapter 6 and verses 11 and 12. In this setting, the world of Noah's day has become ruined in God's eyes. And as we read the verses, look for the connection between the earth and mankind. It says, Genesis 6, starting in verse 11, But the earth had become ruined in the sight of the true God and the earth was filled with violence. Yes, God looked upon the earth, and it was ruined. All flesh had ruined its way on the earth. Do you see the connection? Rather than speaking of just the planet, the scriptures here link the ruining of all flesh or people with the ruining of the earth. Likewise, today, just as mankind is harming the actual planet, we hope to begin clearing the site as early as January 2023, this month. The world under Satan's control is also ruining all flesh. In both ways, the earth is being ruined. How so? Along with false religion, human society in general is gradually corrupting everything that Jehovah has set in place for mankind. Here we go. We see it in their incessant nationalistic wars. We see it in their racial hatred and divisiveness. We see it in their promoting of abortion. We see it in their so-called gay marriage. We see it in the gender blurring that the world is promoting. You don't have to be a man or a woman, they say. You can be whatever you feel like or choose to be. Really? What does Jehovah say about that? At Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5, he told the nation of Israel that, quote, a woman must not put on the clothing of a man. Article 1, you said that by God's command you have continually worn men's clothes and that you have also worn your hair short. Nor should a man wear the clothing of a woman, for anyone doing so is detestable to Jehovah your God. What about all those dresses you were given? Silk dresses, weren't they? Yes. Yes, I was given a few. But I never had time to wear them. Still pretty wealthy for a peasant girl, wouldn't you say? You look pretty wealthy for a servant of God, wouldn't you say? If that is how the Creator feels about the switching of clothing, how much more detestable he must view the world's attempts to blur the lines of gender with false labeling. Recently, the World Health Organization adjusted its view of gender. It now states that, quote, there are many genders existing on a spectrum from male to female. It added that gender identity exists on a continuum and that sex is not limited to male or female. Again, really? Talk about an attempt to tear apart what Jehovah has made. So then even government agencies on a global scale are getting involved, and they are critical of anyone who does not adopt their warped view. At Proverbs 19, verse 3, it explains, it is a man's own foolishness that distorts his way, and his heart becomes enraged against Jehovah. And going back to marriage, Jehovah instituted the arrangement to be a permanent bond 
between a man and a woman. At Matthew 19, verses 4 and 5, we read how Jesus emphasized this while he was on the earth. Quoting from Genesis 2.24, he said this, Have you not read that the one who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and his mother and will stick to his wife, and the two will be one flesh? They speak twisted things by leaving out vital details, taking things out of context. He made them male and female, and the two will be one flesh. Jehovah's purpose for humans is clear, but Satan's world now says that marriage can be between two men or two women. Again, really? We can be certain that promoting this corrupt view is Satan's attempts, part of Satan's attempt to ruin mankind. And just like in literal wars, submarines are used, sneak up on the ships. Well, Satan's same way. To make them so abhorrent to Jehovah that he would abandon humans and his purpose for mankind and the earth. But that will never happen. God's purpose for mankind and their home will be fulfilled. 